Hi guys, this is Dick from the Cafe Null blog, Cafe Null.org, and yeah, I thought I'd do some little video today um, because I read on the Cafe Null group on Facebook that it's possible as well to, um, yeah, like develop film in wine with, uh, yeah, with like washing soda, keep it in this little box, keep it nice and, yeah, to keep it dry. And yeah, so uh, we are here in my dark room, which is like, yeah. Packed. It's maybe two and a half square meters in total. I have like my lights and larger, a Focomat V35 with autofocus. It doesn't really autofocus, but it keeps focus if you, yeah, like recompose your picture and make it larger and in a certain degree. Not like if you move it like this or this. But okay, maybe later something else there. Um, I have my vitamin C, which we will add to the developer made of wine. A nice Merlot 2010, it's like these cheap wines that you get when you buy like yeah, 50 euros pizza or something, they give you this for free. And yeah, we will not use coffee today, so put it away. And we wait until the safe light is warmed up, you see it's like, and we keep this going. We will mix it up in here and like for every 100 milliliters you need 10 grams of uh, washing soda so because we're doing uh, like this little uh, 8 by or 9 by 13 centimeter paper and using a small tray here like this we will just uh, do well we do 400 milliliter so we pour the wine in here maybe many people will say you better drink that wine but believe me it's not that good okay 400 Maybe drink a glass later. And we open washing soda. I have this uh, little scale here, which is yeah really nice. It's a touch screen. And we will just measure 40 grams because we have 400 milliliter. Alright, so 40 grams, put that in, turn the scale off, go the way, and then steer. Well, the smell is not so nice, so I'm going to add a bit of vitamin C. I really don't know how much to put there, so as I'm a vitamin C abuser, we'll just use 10 grams. Nine and a half, 10 grams. Put that in. All right, and we'll keep steering. As you see, we have the lights on now. This will change soon. I'm going to move the camera to, I don't know, so I can close the door in the room so we don't get any lights here. So, so I've repositioned the camera. Don't know if you can see my head. Maybe it doesn't matter. So we'll turn the lights off. Just need to check if the camera is still recording something. Oh, it's not a lot, but okay, it's going to serve the purpose. So, because I just want basically to test if this developer really develops some paper, so we will sacrifice one, take it out of the box, close the box, put it away, and I'm going to turn back the light on. That's it. Okay, I'm just gonna cut like like this. So paper's cut. We have our developer, which should develop um, slower than normal cafe noir. Put it in. Wait a bit. Hours later. Mm hmm. It's doing something, as you can maybe see. You cannot? Yes, you can. It's certainly darker down there. 
So I've moved the camera off the tripod. So just to show you there is the picture that I expose. I have this um, um, yeah, wrong side. This projection print calculator scale, which is like yeah, a couple of ND filters, which you just put on top here, and then you expose for 60 seconds, and you look where in the circle you have correct exposure, and then there are numbers where you can subtract the actual time. It's really nice. I've now developed like this uh, test chart on top of the paper which gives me correct exposure then and I've just done the fixing and gave it a good wash and yeah maybe I move the camera so we can have a look together yeah that's better so there are my trays this is the red wine developer and there is the paper which I've just developed. So let's see what it looks like. And ooh, there is a picture. Oop, I lost it. Come on. Doesn't like me. Okay, now we move it. Anyway, move it here. So there's definitely something on the paper. Just get rid of the water. Oh yeah, and it tones the paper. Really nice. Okay. So let's have a look at it. I guess I think it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's really good. So, we can read here like how long we would need to expose it to get proper exposure. And yeah, I think we're going for 8 seconds. 3 is not quite enough. 5 Okay, so we do 8 to 12. 8, 12, so let's do 10. So move that to uh, by 10. Move it to 1, which will then be 10 seconds. Good, 10. And we'll do an actual exposure of this particular image, and I'm going to develop it, and then I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so the actual development is done. It's over. So I left it in the developer for like, I would guess, five minutes. And then, yeah, give it a good fix, a good wash, and now let's see what we have. <clears throat> okay, so there it is. Uh, that way, it's a picture. It's a bit overexposed. So maybe next time we do eight seconds, but it works. So developing film in wine with washing soda and vitamin C works. Okay, so let's dry this picture. Then I'm gonna scan it and show it to you. So we put it on my film dryer. But it's a polished yeah, metal sheet which gets heated and yeah removes all the water and it gets a nice glossy finish. So developing paper in Wynol, so wine with washing soda and vitamin C works. It gives beautiful images, nice toning to the paper. It's like brown, yeah it's brownish, a bit of violet and yeah it for sure gives a vintage look to it you can even make it more vintage if you add like a bit of coffee on top of the paper if it's in the tray developing and yeah you will have like this uh, specs there and it really looks like a picture from the last century even if this building did not exist there
So then I'm going to scan the pictures and you can look them up on caffeinol.org or join our Facebook group which is like on facebook.com slash caffeinol. Just join us, uh, post some pictures, show us your experience because I guess there are lots of other methods to develop film with washing soda and vitamin C and maybe you will do it with Coca-Cola or Pepsi or I don't know. You've got the idea. If you got something you can't try out or you want me to try out, I'm there for you. Have a good day.